So today we'll be talking about the organs in the chest cavity. The, the top part of the heart right here, which is the structure right towards the center of the chest cavity, and the top part of it is the thymus gland. As we, as we said before, the thymus gland produces thymosine, which helps T cells become immunocompetent. This means that T cells can develop an immune reaction to any antigens which they realize. And this structure, this kind of skin or a kind of a bag-like structure surrounding the heart is the pericardium. The pericardium is part of the respiratory system and it helps hold the heart in place and it also helps protect the heart. These two rather large structures on the sides of the heart, one right here, this would be the right lung, and this right here is the left lung. These two are the lungs. The lung's main purpose is for gas exchange to occur, and in gas exchange, oxygen diffuses through the capillary walls into the bloodstream, and carbon dioxide in the bloodstream diffuses through the capillary walls into the alveoli, which you then push, which you then, which you then exhale. This structure right here, below the heart and above the liver, is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is very crucial to effective breathing. The diaphragm contracts when you breathe, therefore expanding the volume of the chest cavity so there is more air. And when you exhale, the diaphragm relaxes and the, the air pressure is lowered and is pushed, is pushed out. And 